Well, hello, hello. Welcome to Adorn by Jennifer and our Tuesday tips. I was not with you last week. I, um, I actually, my daughter was sick with a fever and I actually pinched a nerve in my shoulder and was in excruciating pain last week. And I still am not over it completely. So I am still struggling actually quite a bit with it, but I felt well enough to at least say hello and give you a Tuesday tip. This tip today has to do with something I was gonna do anyway today. So I thought I might as well bring you along on something that I like to do and just give you some ideas. So um, before I share with you my Tuesday tip, I was going to mention that I do have my link tree put together. And again, I'm not getting compensated or anything for the links, but I put that together so you have a quick place to find options of things that um, are available and things that I have found super useful and I just hope that that's a blessing to you. And I do have my Etsy store link there also if you are interested in any of my Etsy products. A lot of my Etsy products are personalized so if there's anything that you would like to have done or even maybe an iteration of something that you see, just message me and I'm happy to work with you. Sometimes that's where the best ideas come is when people message me. So um, I just mentioned that. And one thing I forgot to mention on the last live is that I put a link to a boutique that I love to shop at. It's an online boutique. I personally don't like to shop for clothes for myself. I'll shop for jewelry all day long. I love jewelry, uh, but clothing is just not something I am very good at. And um, this is an online boutique. It's called 124. It's spelled out O N E 24. And they are, it's a mother daughter duo. It's a Christian um, mother daughter duo based out of Neosho, Missouri. And they have great um, apparel. They basically put outfits together and they do lives twice a day and give you ideas and then you can purchase them from them online. And I've gotten several things and I've had tons of people ask me, where did you get that? And so I just thought I'd put the link. You, there's actually a little link that if you um, put the coupon code in, it will give you 15% off your first purchase. And um, I just thought that might be a blessing to you. And uh, some of their stuff is kind of over the top, but I kind of like it sometimes, um, but they they have some really great pieces as well. So. Um, just wanted to share that with you on my link tree and as far as um, what I'm going to share with you today um, today I'm going to do something or I've been in the process of doing something that has d been done for me many times and when I first got married um, something sizzling here, make sure I'm not burning myself. Um, but when, when we first got married, we actually got pregnant really quick and we had a baby and I didn't know how to cook. I, I didn't know which end was up because there was just a lot of new going on. And when we gave birth, our church family was incredibly supportive with bringing meals over to us. And some people I hadn't even met yet and the generosity of everyone was just so kind and such a huge blessing so much so that I even got to freeze some of the food and just have it for quite a while. And that was just such a huge blessing. So today I want to share with you how to put together a meal for someone who is in need. And this is not just a female thing. This could be for males or females. Um, it doesn't matter if you're married or single, but sometimes people need some encouragement. And so today I have a sweet friend that is going in for surgery and I was just planning on doing this anyway for her. And I just thought I'd kind of bring you along so you could see how easy it is. And maybe it would be a way that you could be a blessing to someone, maybe a neighbor or maybe a friend um, or maybe somebody you bump into in the community. So um, I just want to demystify maybe the stressful aspect of it because it can be super easy. It can be as easy as just dialing up pizza delivery, which I have been guilty of doing many times for people when I couldn't cook something. Um, and that also is a blessing. So um, first of all, I'd like to thank all the people. If you're watching and you have made a meal for me over the years, I just want to say a big thank you because that's a huge blessing, especially since cooking isn't my favorite thing to do. 
And so maybe we can inspire people to do that for other people and encourage them. So first of all, I would like to say that if you are already making a meal, one of the easiest things is just to make two. So if you're gonna make a meal for your family or you're gonna make a meal for somebody, just duplicate it. And even you can, if it's a freezable meal, you can just put it in the freezer so it's ready for whenever somebody needs it. And so that's usually my go-to thing. Uh, I'm usually making a meal for my family anyway. And crock pot meals have become one of my favorite things, especially right now we're in softball season. And so there's a lot of evening uh, that evenings that we've got things going on during dinner time. So um, I literally have my crock pots uh, right next to me. I have two crock pots. If you only have one crock pot, um, you can go to the thrift store and oftentimes find crock pots very inexpensive. I actually have many crock pots because uh, we entertain a lot and it, it gives me a lot of flexibility. So um, I highly recommend doing a crock pot meal. One thing about this crock pot that I will show you, it's, it's sizzling because it's, uh, it's boiling right now. But if you notice, there's like a little plastic liner. I have my mother-in-law to thank for this. She introduced me to these plastic liners. They're by Reynolds Kitchen. And I did not put the link on the link tree yet, but I will. Um, and they're just little liners that go in your crock pot. So when you're done, you just take the plastic out and you can throw it away and you don't have to scrub your crock pots and uh, have all that to deal with. It's the easiest cleanup. So I highly recommend those are a little expensive. They're a little bit of an investment, um, but it is nice to not have to mess with scrubbing things that have been baking for hours in a crock pot. So that's one little tip that I would say is using the liner, using the crock pot and duplicating your meal. Another thing is, is um, I know disposable, disposing of things I try to stay away from um, so that we don't waste, but um, it is really nice when you are on the receiving end of the meal to have something that you don't have to worry about getting the containers back to the original owners. A lot of times people put their name on it or whatever, but it, sometimes it's just hard to get it back to that person. And so I highly recommend getting disposable items specifically for this purpose. And when I first started doing it for other people, I couldn't believe how expensive just like a foil baking dish was at the grocery store until someone brought to me, um, Hope Wittig actually brought a meal and the cutest little tins and they were just the perfect size. And I said, where did you get those? And she said, the Dollar Tree. And so now I keep a very healthy stock of Dollar Tree uh, disposable containers so that at any time I can put something together, even if it's just a meal that I'm making for my family and I find out somebody's in need, I can just throw a uh, you know, aside for one or two people in one of these containers. It doesn't have to be a full meal, but I'll show you some of the containers that this comes in a four pack. It has like a foil or like a liner top and it's the foil base. And it's amazing how much food can actually fit in one of these containers. It looks quite small, but it's kind of nice because it, it's a sizable amount. And for, this is a four pack. So for a dollar and a quarter at the Dollar Tree, you can get four of these, which is really economical for a disposable type thing to have on hand with a lid. And I will write instructions on the top, you know, warm in oven for 20 minutes at 325 or something. Um, or if it's something that's just refrigerated, I'll just write refrigerate and what it is. And then sometimes I'll write a note that I'm praying for them or a scripture verse on it. So this is one of the sizes and this is another size of the Dollar Tree. So I just keep a big supply of these on hand um, like this. Now, if you have like a, a brownie recipe or something that ca calls for an eight by eight or a 13 by nine, they also have larger ones. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're quite sturdy. And so I reuse these. If I have them, I just wash them out and reuse those. And then if you want really big ones, like for a lasagna or something, they have these and they, they actually have lids that go with it. This is multiple packs. This is just for my basement um, stash. But I highly recommend just keeping these on hand because you can put together things really quickly for somebody and be an encouragement. And it's really not difficult, especially if you already have something that you're making uh, for a meal. The other thing I like to do from uh, Dollar Tree is they have this type of a thing. Occasionally they change the size of the container, but 
This is what I use typically for soup because sometimes soup is hard to transport and it has a screw on lid, lid and you can hold it so it doesn't spill in your car um, as you're taking it to your friend. Um, but this is an option, but actually my favorite option is if you get like at Aldi, they have like, I think it's a five gallon container of ice cream, like a big vanilla thing or sherbet sometimes. And I save those after we have a big group over and I just, I stack those up and save those. And then I put the soup in there and it has a handle and it's easy to carry. So uh, soup I found is a very easy crock pot meal and it's very easy to um, extend. So people, it's a comforting food. So I do a lot of soups when I do meals for people. The other thing you can do is if you don't wanna spend money is sometimes restaurants have takeout containers that afterwards you can just rinse it out and save the lid and you can use that. So this is a handy size as well that you can just reuse the takeout container from a restaurant or my favorite economical uh, option, it's not pretty, but it sure works, is um, just Cool Whip containers, um, whatever kind of container that you have. I just, I literally have stacks of these in the basement and it's not pretty, but sometimes when you're in need, you don't care what it looks like. You just are thankful for something to eat. So this is another easy way that the person can dispose of it or even wash it and use it, reuse it for themselves. But it's another affordable way to provide for somebody else and um, not break the bank. So those are a couple of things that I like to do um, as far as, let's see, what other little tips do I have? Um, I shared that I like to do two meals at a time, so that makes it really easy. And let's see, if you have a recipe, you know, sometimes it's good to try out a couple of recipes and have them be your go-to. Items, I usually just do whatever I was planning on cooking for my family and duplicating it. Um, but if it is something that can be frozen as well, because sometimes when the person is receiving it, they may not feel up to eating or they may not know, you know, they didn't, maybe didn't know it was coming. And so maybe they already had something planned. So it's nice to have a, a backup option. But another thing is, depending on who this person is or... Uh, I guess one thing I would say, uh, I'm a pastor's wife, and one thing I've been surprised by is how many people have not had a meal ever brought to them. And uh, it makes me sad because I think that's a very practical way of blessing other people, but it does take effort. And so um, I just really encourage anyone, if you hear somebody's under the weather, maybe even has COVID, you could just drop it off on their front porch, um, going in for a surgery, lost a loved one, lost a pet, um, maybe it's just been a, a hard season at work. There's something about a meal that just feels very comforting. And sometimes it's nice to have something that you didn't prepare. As a woman, I feel like, you know, I always eat my own food. And so it's nice to have something that somebody else prepares. And so it's just a very practical way. I highly encourage everyone to just try it. It doesn't have to be a fancy recipe at all. Um, in fact, for my dinner tonight, I'm just doing soup. And then I had some fruit that I cut up and then I got a big loaf of bread um, just from the grocery store. It's really low. It's not all bread, but it's a pretty big loaf. Um, but uh, just a fresh loaf of bread. And, you know, again, cooking isn't exactly my favorite thing. So I just bought a fun flavor of ice cream for dessert for them. It's just very simple. I mean, it's, you don't have to do a 10 course meal, just a little hug like that, uh, it goes a long way. And a prayer. Uh, if you're someone who uh, believes in the Lord, that's definitely a blessing to encourage them. So um, those are just a couple of things that I would recommend. One other resource that I would recommend as a tip is the Meal Train website. It's a website that is set up, um, if you're a part of a church, maybe you've gotten an email to be invited to a meal train but you can actually set it up for people in your community. You could do it for your neighborhood. You could do it for your coworkers where uh, people can sign up online and then you can see uh, which dates are available or you can also see you know, what type of food they got the night before so you don't do the tacos two nights in a row. Um, and it kind of handles all the 
management of organizing that for you. I believe it's free. I, I've done it several times, but I, again, technology isn't always my forte. So I, I believe it's still free for that. So that is, that's, um, that's my tip for the week. It's kind of simple, but um, hopefully it brings some encouragement to people in your community. And I also was gonna share with you, I, I keep trying to think if I have anything else that I'm, I'm missing with the, oh, one thing I was gonna say. Um, I did put on my link tree, I don't know if I have it on the back of this one. I have my big crock pots right here and they're super hot right now. So this is not a good time to be showing you things, but uh, I don't know if I can actually even get it over to you. I'll move the camera in a second. Um, but there's a little clip that goes on the back of the crock pot. So I saw that on Instagram, somebody mentioned that and it has been one of my favorite new things. It, it's just a, adhesive and it goes like on the back of your toaster. So if you always have a cord hanging out or on your crock pot or your mixer, it's just a little adhesive um, thing that you can coil your cord and it just keeps it tidy. And I just gave it a try. It comes like in a four pack or something. And I absolutely love it. So I link that on my link tree as well. So at the end, I'll try to show you what that looks like uh, and not spill all the soup here. Um, I also posted a reel yesterday that has uh, gone a little viral. I was kind of surprised how many views there had been. Um, but it's my bird feeder and it's made out of, bird feeders are made out of um, different china. This one is a really elegant porcelain. It has a swan and then it has some detail on the front of it. But you put bird food on it and you have these cute little spoons that I hand stamped. This one says Lolly's Garden. And so you put it through the handle and then you can put this little hanger and you can hang it from a tree or a shepherd's hook or something like that. It's a really personal gift, which is great for Mother's Day. I actually have some masculine ones for men, so they're not maybe quite so flowery and girly, but I've got kind of a blue and white, a little bit more of a masculine. Uh, these are little demi uh they call it demi toss or demi, demi cups, but a little bit more masculine so the guys don't feel like they have to have china in their um, outside with their birds, but this one's kind of sweet. This one says, love you, dad. So it's just a little personal thing, especially, oops, sorry about that, the camera. If you have a, a bird lover in your house, um, uh, some of the sayings that I've already stamped are the original tweet, kind of a fun little play on words, instead of uh, text messages and tweets, it's the original treat, tweet, early bird special, love birds, dad's garden, um, there's just all kinds of them. So I'll keep posting them so you can see some of the ideas. But if you want something personal um, or a nickname for somebody that you love, um, I can stamp that for you and make it personalized. I also have my rings. These are always a, a fun thing. I have them in the petite size and the larger size and they're adjustable so they can be worn on any finger. And I did just restock all my sparkly bracelets. So those are all back in the shop. And I actually have earrings. I haven't posted those yet either, but I have some earrings that you can get earrings to match. These are the clear sparkly ones. Um, but I also have several styles of earrings that you can get so you can have earrings and a necklace to match. If you're interested, I have a whole rainbow of colors uh, available for that. So anyway, thank you for tuning in today. Hey, Jody, it's good to see you, by the way. And Carla Sheridan, how fun to see your name pop up. I haven't gotten to talk to you for a while. I'm actually coming back for my niece's graduation in Kansas City here in a couple weeks. I'm super excited to come back and see my old Ascend family, my church family from before when I got married. Um, I'm excited to go back and celebrate my niece with you guys and see some old friends. So anyway, I hope you guys have a blessed week and I hope that you get a chance to encourage somebody with food. It's a very practical way that I think can be a, a huge blessing and be a ministry in and, of, in and of itself. So have a great week and we'll talk to you later.